right now we have a real-time effect applied on this track and actually have the EQ set up here to have a nice radio effect but maybe I want to use my audio suite effect on this to free up processing power or for creative uses you know to have that file actually rendered and I can move that file around maybe chop it up uh, do some creative things with it once it's uh, once it's rendered now of course we have freeze we have commit but another thing you can do is you know if you come in here and you're setting up your real-time effects and you find something a setting that you like and you think boy it'd be nice to have this rendered but i don't want to have to come up here to audio suite find this effect and then and go through all of this process again well you don't have to so let's go ahead and do that here i need uh, neutron 2 in this case and you can do this with uh, any of your uh, any of your uh, audio suite effects so we'll bring up the audio suite version here okay so here's our audio suite version just listen to the file there of course i don't want to have to redo everything because that's time we don't have so to copy our settings from our real-time effects to our audio suite effects very easy come up here to preset use your drop down copy those settings come over to your uh, audio suite version up here to preset again drop down and watch this paste settings and there we go now these two are identical even across the compressor or anything else i uh, uh, happen to have open this is also useful for uh, guitar amp simulators when you want to render a dry guitar track to a file uh, because it might be easier to uh, use for your purposes. So keep that in mind as well. It's not just EQs and things like that. So let me go ahead and bypass that real time effect. And then we can preview this if we want. Of course, we still have all of our options that I've already mentioned. Individual files we can't overwrite in this case. And clip by clip is fine here. All we need to do is click render. And boom, you see that right there? Now we can close this down. And now I'll even remove this just to prove to you. There we go. There's our brand new rendered file. Our nice sort of radio style intro that might be easier to work with uh, or use for creative purposes. So that is how you can copy your settings from your insert effects to your audio suite effects just by copying from your real time effect and then just paste in that setting in the audio suite version and render out that new file.